guys, what's up? My name is Megan. Welcome or welcome back to the vlog. Hello, guys. It's currently July 12th. It is Friday. You know what that means. It's a weekend in my life vlog because I do nothing exciting throughout the week. It's currently 11.30ish. I'm getting ready because we are, me and my older sister are going to just, you know, the local neighborhood, Olive Garden. And we are just taking my mom out to eat for lunch since she's gonna be out of town this weekend. My sister's gonna be out of town this weekend and I am, I have a birthday party tomorrow, even though my mom's actual birthday is tomorrow. Mind you, she didn't tell us anything. She wasn't planning anything and she has like a concert tonight and she has her own celebration. She has like brunch and dinner multiple days. So she's fine. Us just celebrating her. I already went ahead and gave her her gift. Now I'm just getting ready. I'm not looking the cutest. My skin is looking great. I did like all my Korean skincare yesterday. Skin soft, skin soft. That's what's today at lunch. Afterwards, I'm gonna head over to the mall because none of my shorts fit me anymore, guys. I have like maybe two pairs of shorts that don't, where the crotch isn't like hanging low. It's great. Love that, lost some weight. However, I need shorts. What's a vlog without me spending my money? Um, I actually got some books in. I wanted to show you guys a little book haul. Go to the gym today and then I'm going to the movies with my boyfriend today. Tomorrow, I'm apparently bar hopping. I'm the DD, we'll see how that goes. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be an eventful everyday weekend, my little late 20s diaries. So if you guys are new here to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you can see me struggle. Now I'm just getting ready. Go ahead with the beauty of Josie on the release Sun Rice and Probiotics. This I'm gonna put on and start incorporating 50. And when I tell you, it has been hot, hot, hot lately. Only 102. And with the matte sun stick, and just drag it across my face. I'm ready. Let me guys let me show you guys a little outfit of the day this is what i'm wearing the shirt actually both of these are both from forever 21 this is just like a little ford mustang shirt i don't know i like it i like it it's bleach shy it's like one of my favorite shirts that i wear all the time i like these long 90 shorts these are one of the only pair of shorts that fit me which they're fine for pairs and shorter pairs we're just going to olive garden so i'm not getting too crazy dressed up also something very exciting if you guys don't Follow, which you guys definitely should. Her name is Marissa Nicole. She's a YouTuber that I have been following for like years now. Me and her chit chat every now and then. I listen to her podcast, which is called the Non Negotiable Podcast. You guys should definitely check it out. I am going to be on their podcast today, so we are recording later today. So that's why we're doing all of this. I'm gonna go to the gym, go to the mall, do lunch all before I do that recording, and then after the recording, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my movie date today. It's like the small creator, she has around 50K. She's one of the YouTubers I look up to a lot just because the work ethic that woman has is insane. I'm so excited because I'm gonna record with her and her podcast host, Alexis, today. So, ah! Definitely let you guys know when that episode goes up. But it's like a very nice Sunday reset type of podcast and it's, it's become a fave. It's in the rotation. If you guys don't know, I listen to so many freaking podcasts. I listen to like, eight or nine podcasts on rotation. It's a lot, but I can't be alone with my own thoughts. So I need other people to be talking, you know? But I'll go ahead and catch up with you guys when I go ahead and head over to the local neighborhood Olive Garden. Hey guys, I just parked and I just have to say, I am more and more every day with every day I'm driving for there to be an age limit where one needs to retest because I swear, the amount of incompetent people who have their license. Like, yes, I hit curbs, but that is my own doing. I'm not doing anything to anyone. We're at Olive Garden now. Let's go. So hot. Say hello, Murda. Hello, Murda. Say hello. Hi, Murda. I, um, okay, that's our We got the Diet Coke. I think I'm going to make it in town. What? The gym. I don't think I want to make it in Can't you make it after? Can you go after? Like, What's the deal? Tomorrow, I need to rest. Because why? why? Because we're going out. So, so I need to make sure I'm rested. Today? Do you need to rest the whole day? Today, I have to do the... You could have yes, in the morning. Yeah, I am gym. old and I have to wake up at 6 in the morning. To I'm older gym. than you. I'm in the morning. Oh yeah, but you go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, but no. Oh, 
<laughs> hey guys, I just got done with lunch. Now I'm going to head over to the mall to look for some shorts. I don't think I'm going to make it to the gym in time though because I have to be home around 3 to 3.30 so that I can do some technical difficulties for the podcast. So I'm probably going to end up having to do a home workout. Let's go to the mall. Let's do a little mall crawl. <laughs> Cute, but I don't know about the color, to be honest. Okay, but I'm kind of obsessed with this. Hmm. Like, this is cute, but like, would my boobs fit in this? Okay, finally found some promising shorts. I found some things. Short department's not looking too hot. I only found two pairs. And then I found a skirt, I found this dress, so let's see. Okay, so this is like, these shorts, when I first bought them, they were tight on me. Now, they're pretty loose. I still want them to keep these ones, just because they don't have a longer pair like this. And I thought, paired it with like, this type of top, that would be a vibe, but this is what we're working with. So I think this is a flop. This is, honestly, it's just someone with a smaller chest than me. Here's the first pair of shorts. I like them a lot. They fit pretty good. I got a smaller size to see how these fit, but so this is a skirt. It has to sit a little bit lower on me, but like with a fuller length top, I think it's cute. The only issue is that's the back. Like obviously my ass isn't out, but like I can't bend, you know? And like, I also do not know if this is a little girl skirt or not because it's a large and if it's kind of tight and I feel like this might be a toddler skirt. Oh, the freaking... Mm -hmm. Look at the tito. I'm obsessed with this one though right here. That's so cute. These little foam with guys, but this on like a purse would be cute. These purses are so freaking cute. Obviously, they do not feel like anything. They're super light, but like, so cute. Got the goods, we got the goods. I got one pair of shorts. All the shorts here, you know, they're they're either cutoffs or their inseam is 0.5 and I need to cover everything now. So we're gonna head over to Ball Star now. Why do I wanna make popsicles now? Oh my god, it comes with four. <gasps> Should we make popsicles? It's so cute. We got a little Tupper, a little bento boxes. Bring out the fine china, everyone. Am I am I too much? This is a good spoon. That's a good spoon. Mm -hmm. Stop, little Bulbasaur. Little oh, little Pikachu. Oh my God, they have little Mickey. Cute. Cute. Lock. There, lock. There's a lot of red in here. You know how we feel about the color red. There's so much red, actually. Kind of flop in there. I feel like H&M is very hit or miss, heavy on the miss part. And they usually have good accessories, but like, I don't know. It wasn't, nothing really in there. Okay, I'm in the Air Apostle try-on. I found some dresses. I also found some shorts. They're low rise though, so I went up a size. Okay, this is what they look like. Obviously they look fine because I'm wearing a longer top, but this is what they look like. Flop, the, I didn't really like the shorts, and then the dresses. One of the dresses was really cute. It's just, it was made for someone with a longer torso, and the other dress was really cute, but it was made for someone with smaller boobs. And that ain't me. Okay guys, I am back at the mall. I'll do a haul a little bit later, but right now I'm getting ready to jump on the call for the podcast hoping my background doesn't look so messy panicking obviously if you can't tell on your podcast and i was like you guys do not understand the work ethic this woman has is insane because you could just wave 
Okay guys, I just got done filming the podcast. Marissa and Alexis are just so nice, so sweet. I felt like I was yapping the whole entire time. Hopefully it comes out good. I'm excited. It's not gonna come out for like another month or so just because they batch film before podcast, but I was their first like guest listener, listener guests on their podcast, so that was exciting. But I just quickly worked out right now. I wouldn't I changed out of this worked out really quick and then changed into this my arms are killing me right now i did a really quick set of all my exercises but i need to get it in because i'm about to head out to my boyfriend's so we can go see long legs tonight super excited for the movie this is probably one of the most anticipated horror films of the year and if you guys know i'm a big horror buff like i don't have a skeet urge sign butcher knife for no reason i love horror movies Head over to my boyfriend's actually <laughs> what's up it's the next day i just woke up clearly i look a little bit tragic um it's 11 20 because i woke up so so late because i stayed up really late and i am just chilling for right now i watch blue for a little bit let's go see her because now we have to find blue there she is this package in the mail and i would love to unbox it with you guys dc I have a friend she named Blue. Looks like this. She's a little baby. And she has a lot of energy. So we need to start taking her on walks. My other two dogs are very much couch potato dogs. But Dog Friendly Co. reached out to me and were so nice. And they wanted to give Blue. They thought Blue was super, super cute. Because, like, look at her. She is super cute. You're very cute. You're very cute. I wanted to give her a little leash and a harness set and guys I wanted to get her a blue leash and harness set let me tell you this I want to get her a nice sky blue her name is blue my mom has this idea that um, people keep stopping her because she has blue colored items thinking she's a boy she's like she's a girl I want her to have a pink one so we got blue a pink harness, which went over her head and sent over their bungee leash, which looks like this. So it's one of those ones that has a little bit of a resistance to it. She can go a little bit, but it snaps back, which is pretty good. Cause like I said, this girl, she's a little wild. I got her this harness. So it's like a full body harness. So this is not around her neck. It's not gonna pull her. What I like is that they're very specific when it came to measurements. I know they had me, um, also send in a picture of the measurements around her just to double check that it fit her. But this is the harness. This looks like, looks pretty cool. It says DF Co on here. What I like about this though is they gave me custom little tags. So it says blue on them. So I can just take these off right here if I want to. And now we have blue. Now we have a custom little harness. It seems like very good quality. The stitching looks amazing. The little logo looks amazing. This just looks, this looks great. This looks great. I'm very excited to take her on walks with this. So thank you so much, Dog Friendly Co. Um, the link will be in a description below if you guys want to check them out. I should have some code somewhere up here on the screen as well. But thank you guys so, so much for setting this because my mom loves it. Blue's gonna love it. Now, like I said, it's around 11 something. I'm not really that hungry. I'm just gonna watch Blue. I'm gonna chill. If I make food, I'll turn it back on. If I don't make food, I'll talk to you in a bit. Yep. Look how cute she's being right now. It's because she's so sad. It's because her mom and dad aren't here. I forgot that I pre-made some protein waffles. So I just made that. I made some bacon. The girlies are out. They want food. Hi, face. So much dog content today. But I'm going to eat and watch YouTube. Okay, guys. I just finished up. I was watching YouTube for a bit. And then I was eating breakfast. So now I'm gonna get my lazy ass up and go to the gym. Afterwards, I was thinking we can stop by like at Marshalls because I know that's close by. Maybe pop into the thrift stores too, just to see. I've been really, as, as we all know, shopaholic, we know, we got this. But I've been really um, looking for pieces that are gonna be good for Hawaii. Before I leave, I should show you guys just the haul of the stuff I got at the mall yesterday. I didn't get too crazy things. Forever 21 had a bit of stuff. 
Um, and then, and then I went into pink. I didn't show you guys that, but I went into pink. And I, look at this little cinnamon roll. Look how cute. I didn't show you guys, I went into pink yesterday because I've decided I'm going to be like everyone and their mother. And I'm going to start running. I know me, that's going to look a little crazy. I'm going to become a runner. So I bought a bunch of cute little running shorts because the shorts I wear to the gym, I wear these like spank sets. They roll up so easily and I think running shorts are going to just help. Just need to make sure I put deodorant there because the chafing is real. Let me tell you that. So obviously this is the fit. I just slept in the shirt that I was wearing last night because we're not and then I'm just wearing little shorts. See, this isn't going to work for the gym so let's just change into our gym clothes. And this is the set. This is linked in my LTK. Also, it's linked in my Amazon storefront. It is just a two-piece little spandex little suit. I'm wearing a Victoria's Secret sports bra underneath. We are good to go. Let's head to the gym. I died I got my mile time down by like 43 seconds so now it's down to like 11 15 17 ish which pretty proud of myself considering I haven't ran a mile in two weeks almost so that was really good Pilates is really helping me helping with my endurance as well as just breathing so that was pretty that was a fun time look at this just piece of hair that fell out of my clip or whatever but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go to Target first because it's right here next to my gym friend's birthday is tonight it's my boyfriend's friend's birthday like our friend's birthday Target has a vinyl of Nirvana's MTV acoustic show they have like a vinyl of it and he always tends to play that specific show all the time in Nirvana so I thought it would just been like just like a nice gesture like they've gotten me and his fiance have gotten me birthday gifts so I was like you know what let's just Let's just get him a little something. So I'm gonna go ahead off into Target now. Mom's birthday, so I feel like I should get her just a bouquet of flowers. I already gave her a gift, but let's just let's just get her something. They also have some of these, which I think these are really cute. But they only have like two flowers. I like this one the best. I might get it on my way out, just so I don't forget. Hmm. Okay, yay, they have it. They have a lot of vinyls and stuff. Clean. Ooh, I'm so tempted. I don't have space anymore, but I'm so tempted. Okay, so look how cute these lunch boxes are. Oh my god. This is like perfect for back to school if you're doing that, but like I kind of want it because it's a little bit bigger but still smaller than my current one. My current one's getting kind of messy. I feel like this ooh, I kind of want it. It's only 10 bucks. Like I'm in the picture frame aisle because I'm looking for a picture frame that can possibly hold Polaroid pictures because I can just print two Polaroid pictures of them together and put together with this vinyl. But it's looking like it's looking like that's a no. Remember when Polaroids were just like off the charts and there was a frame for them all the time? There's not anymore. Probably not, but we shall see. Cute. The game of will this fit my boobs? We don't know, but we will try. Looking for picture frames, and I've just been stuck at the clothes. They got some cute stuff today, and I'm in my dress era, so I've been seeing what like catches my eye. Guys, hell yeah! Halloween's starting now. Okay, but why do I want him? Why do I, they have so cute stuff? Oh my god, oh my god, giant candy corn? I want all of it. Look at the little ghost. Stop, stop, it's the king. Oh my god. They have a bunch of the but like viral food, food stores. Oh my god, someone called a girl. Someone called a girl. They have mint chocolate chip, it looks like, an Oreo one, and macaroons. Um, excuse me, cute. The only options I found were this one. That can work pretty well. These are our options. Let's see, this is super cute, but it might be too big. Not sure. Um, this is a no. This is, I don't even know if these are straps, like low key. 
like I don't know that can be fit but I don't even know if there's straps but it's just too big so it's fine but you can kind of see my underwear it's kind of see through but so here's the dress it comes with pockets which is cute I don't know if I like it the way it's hitting is kind of on my hips so I feel like it's making me look hippier I don't know it's cute girls look great but I don't know okay here's the other dress Mm -hmm. it's cute i just feel like it's very young especially with this floral pattern like i love this floral pattern but i don't know it looks like i'm going to homecoming or spring formal i mean it's cute it fits nice but i'm not, I'm not sure i'm doing a lot of misses right now there is a baby obviously this doesn't go i feel like a um mormon but this is the large it's a bit bigger guys i'm so happy because i've been looking for a jesus forever and this one's a little bit big so i'm gonna try the medium and see how that works but this definitely is coming home the set i'm kind of iffy about it just because so if i lay it normally how i hang my skirts this is how it would look and it's not that cute but but if i wear it like this this can kind of be a vibe okay i might get it i put it to the proportion where i would wear it as and it's cute like that's cute Okay guys, I am going to start heading out. Um, I already head out. I don't know why I'm saying start heading out. I'm gonna start heading home because classic me, I lose track of time. It's already three something. So I wanna get home. I wanna take a shower and rinse off because I'm so sweaty still from the gym and the heat does not help. Um, I did get that set. I sent the picture to Kayla and she was like, it's cute. So my set's life. Let's go. So gonna head home now. I'll catch up with you guys then. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Okay guys, currently it is 4.30. I have to be at my boyfriend's by 6, but I also have to pick us up dinner before that. We are done. Makeup is looking great. It's looking, it's my usual glam that I do. I have to hurry up and then I need to choose an outfit. I do not know what I'm wearing tonight. I have an idea. I have an idea, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear. Okay guys, this is the final look. This is the top I got from Forever yesterday. It's just this butter yellow little eyelid detail, kind of corsety milkmaid top situation. Skirt is from Amazon. I'm just wearing little brown sandals that I always wear. Um, jewelry, this is from Amazon. This is from Ana Luisa. Crystal Shop, Crystal Shop. This was given to me, but I think you can find this on Amazon. It just says, is this the F word? Um, and these, I don't know where these are from. I think these are just like little cheap rings I got from either Target or like Shein. But that is the look. I'm gonna head out. If I don't do any clips of today, I probably won't for the later night just because people don't like being on camera. I understand, it makes sense. But if I do, maybe show some snippets of the night. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, what's up? It is currently Sunday. I just got off work. That's only like 1.50ish, like almost two o'clock. So like I said, I just got off of work. Fun, fun things happened last night. I smashed my finger at the bar. Basically what happened is we were playing pool and I was attempting to play pool. And I guess when I went to go shoot a ball, my finger somehow hooked my boyfriend's drink around the rim and it was a glass like cup and i smacked it really hard basically crushing my finger against it somehow and then he like hold it still so that kind of like created the force and then it dropped and it broke and i was very much embarrassed and there was glass on my sandals and the guy was like totally okay like the bar people were totally fine but they were just like oh be careful and i'm just like i'm not drunk i don't even drink like i've just felt embarrassed so that's really fun my finger hurts a lot so that's fun it's like a little bit swollen still but that was my night last night right now i'm about to head off i'm supposed to play D, D today with my boyfriend i don't know if that's still happening i know the euros and the copa the soccer tournament guys i don't even really like soccer my boyfriend likes soccer i'm just gonna deal with it but I know that those finals are on today too. So I think we're watching those, but I'm gonna also get Chipotle because I'm hungry and I'm not eating at all today besides banana and a protein, little waffle. Uh, 
Okay guys, it is much later now, like a lot later. It is 10.52. I just got done working out, doing an at-home workout, meaning 75 days down of working out every single day, eating right, diets change. I am just so proud of myself. I don't think it's hit me yet until I hopefully do rest tomorrow and I don't actually work out, but these last two and a half months have been just really good for my health, honestly. Definitely gonna keep up the healthy habits, but so excited. But before I end off this week's vlog, I wanted to essentially do a big haul of everything. Everything I bought because I didn't haul anything in this vlog and I want to show you guys the books I got from the Target sale. From Marshalls, I just got that lunch. This is not from Marshalls, this is from Target. I got that lunch bag that I showed you guys earlier and then I went ahead and did get that linen set like conflicted on so this is just the cute little top that i got and then i got the matching see skirt which is gonna be just so cute this is gonna be so cute in hawaii i'm definitely gonna wear it before then it's just very summer vibes and i love it i went ahead and got this jean vest because i've been wanting one of these for so freaking long i'd actually go ahead and get that milk made top style like long dress so I just feel like it was just perfect. It has pockets. I got at Forever. I got that little yellow bustier type top that I showed you guys that I wore the other night to the bars. I did go ahead and get those pair of shorts. Um, just nice little jean shorts. Really, really great. They actually fit me. Head and get one of these belts finally. I just feel like, especially with like that two-piece linen set, this would just add so much to it. I've been wanting one for such a long time. And I just think they're cool. I did go ahead and get those phone charms. So I got I got pom pom, got pom pom Purian, little yellow chain, and then I want to get and got Choco Cat because I just love the silver hearts. So the way I'm thinking of styling these is just unclipping them and kind of draping them across my smaller bags. I did get that Paul Frank tank because growing up I never really got any of their clothes. I don't know. It's just. This kind of just healed a little bit of my inner child, but I just think it's just like a nice, cute little tank top. Very simple, a little Paul Frank monkey. And you know what? This was for me, okay? None of the little girls that are shopping in there know who this man was and how iconic he was. This is for me. Last thing I got from Forever was that little crochet little vest. I just thought this was so cute. I could definitely wear these. These fit shorts, those little longer shorts, I think that would be super cute to pair with this and I can actually style those shorts better. With something like this i didn't show you guys i did actually go into pink i kind of just did a really quick speed run of pink um i decided i am going to be a runner at some point i end up getting three sets of running shorts I got them in white i know old move here white i got them in this cute green color like a little back pocket too with like a zipper this like navy pair three different tank tops so i got a green little rib tank I got a navy little ribbed tank and then I didn't want to do a white tank so I went ahead and just got this lilac tank. I like these. I've had some of their tees before. They have built-in bras in them. So perfect. I'm definitely still going to wear a sports bra because the girlies are going to hurt if I start running. And this was just on sale. It's just their little boxer shorts, little pajama shorts. It's just a bunch of dogs playing tennis. I don't know. I thought it was adorable and it was seven bucks, so like, why not? And then I just got some underwear because who doesn't need underwear? The thing is, um, if you guys didn't know, by the time this is up, Target was having Circle Week last week, so they had buy two get one free on their books, and I went a little bit crazy. And essentially, I do this once a year with all my special interests. I tend to bulk buy a bunch of things for that special interest for the year. This year, it is books. And if you guys don't know, I own already a lot of freaking books. I do read them, but I'm more so just like that person who likes collecting books. I just love books so, so much. But I'm really into my rom-com era right now. And I just want to read those fluffy, cute, little smutty books. Sue me. <laughs> not one. Not two. Oh my god. Not this big old case. If you guys are interested in more book content, let me know. The book I'm currently reading, I'm, this is the current book I am reading at the moment. Butcher and the Blackbird. This is by Bryn Weaver. I think this is her first, her first. This is her first book. So this is essentially about two serial killers who kill serial killers, kind of like Dexter, I guess. Um, and it's like a rom, 
rom-com there is a lot of trigger warnings in here so mind you i believe there's like a lot actually so just be weary if you're gonna read this book yeah eyeballs eye sockets amateur surgery chainsaws cannibalism it's about serial killers so there's a lot of just like grotesque stuff in it maybe my favorite like thing that i decided to got i am gonna read akatar now i'm gonna read the series i'm so excited i love four wings so freaking much so now it's time to get into the other fantasy fantasy series that's overtaking everyone and their mother um what i love about this is the fact that this this together because i had the promotion going on and you can price match with amazon 40 bucks excited so i got the whole akatar series i'm so excited to read this i'm probably gonna start this like in a month or so i definitely want to probably bring a couple of these when i go to hawaii i went ahead and got how to sell a haunted house by grady hender this seems like an interesting book. It's about about a woman, her parents died, so she's starting to go home. She has to sell the house, and now she has to figure that out, I guess. So, we got that. We got, this one's called The Dead Guy Next Door. About a divorcee broke and living with elderly roommates. She has hallucinations, she might be psychic. It's a series, this is the first book. We'll figure it out. I hope you guys love my descriptions. Um, the love of my afterlife so i guess this is about two people who meet each other in like limbo and then they go back to see if they can have love i don't know i thought that was cute fun i know so many people talk about this book it's called the housemaid i know people love this um so i wanted to get the first book because i definitely wanted to read it um and hopefully i like it so i'll finish the series but i heard this was really great thriller fun fight fun things I got Happy Place by Emily Henry. I know she's super popular. I heard this is one of the better books. I did read People We Met on Vacation. I absolutely loved it. I loved how it was steamy, but like it didn't, it it wasn't crazy in my opinion. So I love that. I love that. I just love a cute novel. I went ahead and got The Perfect the perfect Marriage. This is another thriller. Super popular. Then I got Meet Me at the Lake. This is by Carly Fortune. I think this is I believe this is her second book. I believe it didn't get every summer after. It just was out at my Target. I'll probably read that at some point, but I heard that they're all standalones. So I got this. Just thought it would be a great summer read. Last bag of books, because I uh, clearly have no self-control over anything. Our Broken Rules. This is part of one of my book clubs that I'm part of book for one of the months. So excited to read that. Then we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. Heard this was another great one. I really like this author, so hopefully, you know. I like this. I like this. And again, I got another Emily Henry book. Um, as you can see, I go all in with authors. Um, this is a funny story by Emily Henry. Um, I heard this is probably one of her most popular ones, I believe. And I actually think this is getting turned into a um, getting turned into a movie soon, a movie or a TV show. So, want to pick that up? Then I got This Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune. This is the third book she's released. So I have the second and the third book now. This book, I, I don't have a problem. I just have undiagnosed ADHD and I hyperfixate on a lot of things. And again, this summer it is books. And it was a sale, guys. All this was under $100. Um, this is a novel love story by Ashley Poston, I believe. Um, I saw this was really popping off on Instagram and on TikTok and everyone and their mothers is reading it. Um, this is Unsteady by Peyton Corin. Corin. Um, like I said, hockey smut books have my heart. So, the three books I got are a Not So Meat Cute by Megan Quinn, Bridesmaid for Hire by Megan Quinn. Oh, they're the same author. Oh. You learn something new every day. I heard this is actually really popular too. I think I have an issue with some of these romance books is some of them do not need to be 350 to 400 pages long. The last book I got was Tell Me Lies by Carol L. Lovering. I know this is an older book probably came out like a year or two ago i know there's a hulu show about it my parents watched it they almost spoiled it for me camera is dying so i'm gonna end this weekend's vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys do make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye